here it says, use the discriminant. What's the discriminant? Yeah. I like how you just walked in. <laughs> yeah. It's what's under the radical. So it's called the radicand, which you would have learned about last year. Radicand just is the stuff. I went to go say crap. Now I repeated crap twice. Um, it's the stuff that's under the square root sign of the quadratic formula, right? That's all the discriminant is. If I ask you for a discriminant, what should your answer be? A. Yeah. A squared minus four AUC. Yeah, and the answer for the discriminant will always just be a number, right? It'd be like seven, twelve, fourteen, negative four. The discriminant literally is just plug it into B squared minus four AC. Give me an answer. That's it. So on the test, when I ask you determine the discriminant of the following, you will literally just give me. You'll go, oh, I know what that is. That's B squared minus 4AC. You'll plug it in. You give me an answer. You'll move on. That's it. That's all the discriminant is. Don't overthink it. Don't give me, oh, there's two natural and e there's two real and equal roots. There's two real and same. No, nah, I don't care about that. I just asked you for the discriminant. And what's the discriminant? The discriminant is B squared minus 4AC. So if I ask you to use the discriminant, so I want the discriminant, b squared minus 4ac, to determine the nature of the roots, that's lovely. Then I have to get the nature of the roots. But I'm not going to do the nature of the roots right now. I literally just want you for the first, the second, and the third to give me the discriminant. That's it. In order to do the discriminant, my equation needs to be set equal to what? Zero. Because what's in front of my x squared is my a. If you're on your phone, you're not listening. What's in front of my x is my b. And what's at the back by itself in the constant is the C, okay? So we'll do the first one together, and then you're going to do the second and the third. So we need to find the discriminant. That's what I'm doing first, just the discriminant. Then we'll talk about the nature of the roots. The discriminant, I need to make sure it's equal to zero. Is it equal to zero? Yes. Then I could use the quadratic formula. Or I can use find the discriminant, right? It has to be equal to zero. What's in front of my X is my A. What, or x squared, sorry, is my a. What's in front of my x is my b. What's at the back by itself is my c. And then I want the discriminant. Okay, discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. So you just need to remember that that is what the discriminant is. And people are like, I can't memorize it. It's what's under the radical sign of your quadratic formula, which I give you, right? It's just what's underneath there. It's in the radicant. So let's fill it in. Negative 5. I have a hair on my pen. Negative 5 squared minus 4 times 1 times 4. I will. So what do we get? We get 25 minus 16, which is what I'm doing, which gets me 9. Or, hey, type it in all at once and you get 9. It doesn't matter, right? Okay? Discriminant, done. You're welcome. Here. Discriminant. is 9. Literally, that's all I want. I get so much other random crap. Or I get nothing. I get like a blank slate. People are like, I got nothing for you. Don't remember. I remember there's a word. I don't remember what it is. Or I get like the discriminant plus a whole bunch of other stuff. Like extra information. You give me the x-intercepts. You give me like nature of the roots. You give me, I just want a number and then move on. Okay? You guys are going to do 2 and 3. Now with number 2, there's a 4 thirds. Don't freak out. You can type four-thirds in your calculator, right? Don't freak out about it. The third one, what am I going to have to do first? Before I can even do anything. Solve it. Get it equal to zero, so you're going to have to add the nine over. Okay, try those two. So, let's do the second one. This would be my A. This would be my B. This would be my C. And then I have four squared minus four times three times four-thirds which you could type all in at once. I'm not going to be able to do that. So I'm going to get these cancel minus 16, you get zero. Did you get zero? What do you think you might get for the third one? Negative. A negative. What did I do? I gave you one greater than zero, gave you one equal to zero, gave you one less than zero, because what does it produce? Different natures of roots, right? My discriminant is greater than zero. I get how many? Two. 
If it's equal to 0, I technically get 1 or 2 that are equal, the same. And if it's less than 0, the graph is either completely above or completely below. Now, if I look at this one and move the 9 over, it's going to be concave up. So I know that this graph is going to be completely above, because it would have to be concave up in order to have no x-intercept. So we have to check the discriminant first. So we have A, B, C, and then we get negative 8 squared minus 4 times 2 times 9. So I get 64 minus 72, which is negative 8. Did we get negative 8? Yeah. So if I ask for the discriminant, that's it. The discriminant is negative 8. The discriminant is 0. The discriminant is 9. Yay! That's it. I don't want anything extra. Or is not always better. Okay? Sometimes it's worse, actually. You add a whole bunch of like bad things to it, and then I'm like, stop. Uh, okay? So, now, based on those, I can give the nature of roots, correct? So if the discriminant is 9, you guys told me you have two roots, right? But the nature of the roots, how do we actually say it? So we have two real, and they're different. What was the word I used for difference? And distinct roots. Now, what's the nature of the roots when it's equal to zero? Two real and equal. equal. Now, remember, if the discriminant is equal to zero, what does the graph look like? What's on the x-axis? The vertex is on the x-axis, right? Because it's either bouncing off the x-axis, creating two at the same spot, or um, bouncing down. So your vertex is actually your x-intercept, right? So if your discriminant is zero, your vertex is on the x-axis, your vertex is your x-intercept. They're the same thing. So this is two real and equal. And then when they're negative 8 means there's no x-intercepts, correct? So the number of x-intercepts would be 0. But the nature of the roots would be non-real roots. Or you could say no real roots. Example 2. Star, 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 star. Make sure you're off your phone. Star, 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 star. And make sure you're off your phone. Start, start, start. Oh, good. All right. So we're going to star example 2. I'm going to create a pen. I'm going to pick a star. aggressive starring. And why am I aggressive starring? Whoa. Because <laughs> no one remembers how to do this question. It's done the chorus. So way back when, in NOM, I believe, when I first started teaching, way back in, NOM. in NOM when I started teaching, um, I taught 20-1 back then. It was called 20 pure in NOM. And um, I used to bet my class for this question I started off really like, I, I was a young, I was a young person who believed in people. I had this positive reality of if I just told them, they would do it. And I would get above an 80%. So I said to them, if we get above an 80%, and this was way before gluten-free, because we, there was no, there was very few people who were gluten-free. They should have been, they just didn't know they were supposed to be. So they were sick, but we're in a much better place now. Okay? So this is previous to the gluten-free times. I bet people that if they got above 80% on just this question, if 80% got this question right, 80%, one question, bet it, start it, bet it, like, Ooh, yo, okay, look. 80%, you would get, oh, I don't feel like I have to extend it longer. If you had above 80%, they would all get donuts. I could pick the type of donut from Tim Hortons, I pre-ordered them, brought them donuts. Can I hold that back this year? Never have I ever had to bring donuts, not once. Every year, people are like, can we have it? I reduced it. As the next year, I was like, you know what? I was overachieving. I will do 70%. Never brought donuts. I got all the way down to 50. Who do you, who do you 40? No. Well, I got 10. <laughs> because then I taught grade 12 for quite a few years, and now I'm back to having some 11s again. So I'm now back to believing in you. 
you know? <laughs> Every year it was knocked down and knocked down, and I never bought donuts, not once. So we continue to No. <laughs> no. Last year, it was the the COVID. The COVID hit, and I couldn't do the bet because it was the COVID, and I couldn't bring stuff. This year, as long as I bring stuff that you don't touch, I don't touch, we kind of just figure it out. Um, you could get it. However, I'm not joking. This isn't like, ha, 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 she's kidding. No, never have I ever had to bring donuts. And every year, they all have the same faces as you. All these positive belief people. You know, you're all just like, well, that's stupid. This is going to be the year left. Doesn't matter what you give us. If you give us 50, we do 80. We can all do that, right? And then you talk to each other, and you're all just like, okay, guys, we need to do well in this question. Don't be the crappy one. Well, 70% are always crappy. 30% is usually what I got right. It's it's not a rocket science question. I don't make it hard. It, it is like, it's this. Start it. It's not trickery. It, it's this. 30%. I just, I don't even know what to do with it. So, I have a renewed vigor. I'm placing it back at 70. I'm not going to 80 because that's just, you know, throw a little COVID in there. We're going to say 70. I believe in you, kid. Quit, quit, quit not believing you. 70. I'm compromising at 70 because I was going to say 80. You're compromising at 65? No. I will. Brian's gonna get it. He's such a negative Nelly. There's no belief. There's always one person. I don't know what you guys. I know I'm not getting. <laughs> There's always one person who's like, "Yeah, I'm just not gonna get it." I'm like, "Dude, you could just memorize it." Nah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get it. And the rest of them are like, "We will all get it." There's like the angel person who's like, "Everyone will do amazing." And then there's the Shmay loves who are like, not getting it, peeps. Not today. <laughs> believe in your smell, self, believe in your smell. <laughs> that too. Okay, so this is how the question always goes. Question always goes this way, ready? I am not joking when I say, I don't make it harder than this. This is how the question goes. And it's not a hard question. It really isn't. Okay? The question goes, I give you a quadratic. In the quadratic, there'll be a variable missing. You're going to have to find that variable. That's it. So let's go down to the knowledge. Let's use our knowledge we have. Before we even do this question, so here it says, for which values of k does the quadratic equation x squared plus 10x plus k equals 0? Half. Now, real and equal roots. Real and equal roots tells me, no wonder, Shmail, if you're not going to get it right. You're on your phone. Get off your phone. Believe in yourself, Matt. OK. So we have real and equal roots. What does that tell us? Zero. What is zero? Discriminant. Discriminant. Yeah. And then, <laughs> yeah, okay. The discriminant is what? Equal to zero. Thank you. What's the discriminant? Zero. Okay, it's equal to zero. What is this? What would we fill in to find discriminant? B squared. B squared. Minus 4. Minus 4 AC. Thank you. Yeah, Good job. Now, two distinct roots. What does that mean? Greater than 0. Yes, what is greater than 0? The discriminant. The discriminant. B squared minus 4 AC is greater than 0. And then no real roots. B squared minus 4 AC is less than 0. If you can get to this step, you will all get it 100% right. We're not done, but this is the hardest part. If people can't get, this is like, you either get to this step and everyone answers it correctly, or you just, like, it's blank. This, that's how this question is. At all time. Or some people just throw random things, they're like, seven, <laughs> nine, two, okay? We need to solve for k. When we have b squared minus 4ac, and we have a quadratic, we can fill stuff in, correct? Because we know that B and A and C stand for something in there, correct? So let's go up here. What's in front of the X squared? One. A one. So my A is? One. One. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to fill a one in for all my A's. Look at this. Nothing rock science-y. Nothing cray-cray. What's my B? <laughs> you can do it. I underlined it. I believe in you. B is what? Ten. Ten. So I could go and fill in all my b's. 10 squared minus 4 times that, right? 
and then we still need to see equals zero. I have 10 squared minus 4 times 1. We need to see greater than 0. 10 squared minus 4 times 1 times. We're going to solve here. Yes, we are, Karsten. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. What's C? Okay. C is K. And everyone's like, I can't do it anymore. Yes, you can. Uh, Chill. Okay, we put a K in. And a K in. And a K in. Uh -huh. Okay, now we are going to solve with an equal sign and with two inequalities. And I believe in you. Okay, let's do some stuff here. 10 squared is? 100. Yes, see? Look, you're still doing fine. 100 minus 4 times 1 times K. 4K. 4K. Equals 0. Genius level. Wait, they're all going to be the same. 100 minus 4K, but this one's going to be greater than 0. Oh, 100 minus 4K is less than 0. Let's solve the first one. What am I going to move first? 100. 100. How am I going to move it? Subtract it. Subtract it, because right now it's positive. positive. So we're going to subtract 100 over. Boom. Boom. Shush off. Negative 4K equals negative 100. What's we going to do then? Divide by negative 4. Uh-huh. And what does K equal? 25. Boom. So K equals 25. And if I plugged in 25, and I typed it into my calculator now, so type in X squared plus 10X plus 25. Go, type it into Y equals. What's up, Anna? Do you only need to solve one? No, you'll see why. Don't get ahead of yourself, girl. No, nope. so don't get, no, nope. no, nope. watch, hip. Okay, mm -hmm. let's type it in. X squared plus 10X plus 25. It's real and equal, which means I'm going to have one x-intercept. So I'm hoping my vertex is where? I have no idea. Okay. If we have real and equal roots, we're hoping our vertex is on the x-axis. So it's x squared minus plus 10x, and then plus, what was the answer, 25? Yeah. Ha! Praise Jesus, we have the right answer. Ah, uh, hello. Thank you very much. Vertex on x-axis, one intercept, actually two, same one, boom, shaka, freaking lucka. Mm-hmm. Rolling. Okay, we're going to go to the next one. B. <laughs> this is why we can't be all lazy, because this is where it all goes wrong, too. Can't be all lazy, say, ah, oh, it's 25 each time. Now it's k is greater than 25, k is less than 25. Because inequalities have a little bit of trickery in them. Let's see. Let's see some magic. Okay. So I'm going to subtract my 100 over. Nothing crazy about that. And then I go negative 4k is greater than negative 100. And then I'm going to divide by negative 4. Nothing crazy still. Still doing what I did before. What happens with an inequality when you divide by a negative number? Dig deep. Dig deep. Oh, deep into the depths of your hearts. Yes. Oh, my goodness, Karsten. You have. What happens when you divide by an inequality? By <laughs> How much do you need to divide by negative? Your inequality sign goes away. No, it rhymes with trips. Flips. Yes, it flips. The fact that none of you had that answer scares me, and that makes me think you maybe didn't learn it. But anyways, it doesn't matter. Today is the day. You've been blessed with the knowledge. You're welcome. You're welcome. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle knowledge. When you divide by a negative, your inequality, your inequality sign flips. Only dividing by a negative. You can add a negative, you can subtract a negative, you can multiply by a negative, nothing happens. But magically, when you divide by a negative, your inequality sign flips. So I'm going to end up with k is less than 25. So that means there's numerous numbers it could be, correct? But let's try one. What's a number less than 25? Do not tell me 26. 24. 24. 25 and a half. That's just craziness. We're going to do it. It's true. So I'm going to do less than 25. I'm going to try 24. And how many am I hoping for now? 
Two? It says two real and a sink, didn't it? Yeah. Two real. So I'm hoping for two. Let's press. Yeah. There's options. Okay, I'm scaring the people who are having to listen to this outside of this class because they did not see my screaming coming. All right, we're going to put something less than 25. I'm going to put 23. 24. 45. Five. Two. Five. Let's be rebels. Let's go real low. Oh my, still two. What? What? Okay, let's try something lower than 25 and lower than 5. I'm going to do... That's a vicious. I'm going to do negative 3. But you could do that if you want. <laughs> well, now I'm going to have to move over my window. <laughs> you do! Holy smoke, Doodles, Batman, it is true! If my K is less than 25, I get two answers. Drop the mic. Get donuts, that's what I say. All right, let's do another one. What about this one? This one. We are going to subtract 100. Negative 4K is less than negative 100. Divide by negative 4. What happens to my inequality sign now that you've been blessed with knowledge? It flips. It flips when you divide by negative. If I divide by a positive, does it flip? No. If I multiply by a negative, does it flip? No. If I add a negative, does it flip? If I subtract a negative, does it flip? No. It only flips if you divide by a negative. It has to be negative, though? Yep. 25. Holy smoke, Rudolph. Let's try it out. We are hoping, because it says no real roots. We are. You even knock over a little tiny cup. Okay. No real roots. We are hoping for no x-intercepts. Not an error because we're not really typing it in, but we would if it was quadratic formula. Yeah, we would get there. Um, what we are hoping for is a graph that does not touch the x-axis. Yeah? Okay. Let's see. That's greater than 25. We're going to be rebels and we're going to use 26. There is a... Yeah, there's, there's an error. Got to get that out of there. Boom. <gasps> no x-intercepts, guys. We know we're right. Oh, I'm going to put 50. It's going to give me a y-intercept of 50. That's going to suck. I'm going to pick 34. <laughs> Why is it so high? 34 is my y-intercept, isn't it? It's in standard form. If you look at this little, it's like x squared plus 10x plus 34. 34 is my y-intercept. Of course I'm at 10. Of course it's not going to show me much of my graph. However, it does show me that it doesn't graph. But I'm going to show more. So I'm going to go y max. I'm going to make it be bigger than 34. I'm going to go 50 because I'm a rebel. Woo! Look at that baby. It does not cross. I just solidified I'm a freaking genius. I just said that word on podcast. It was not a swear, though. Second it was... Time. <laughs> Good thing. Are you okay. all right? It's right. It's three four. Life can't get better than this. All right, we are going to practice one on our own because we are going to get above a seventy on this question. We are going to once in Mrs. Left's career of sixteen years. <laughs> okay. This is all that's going to be your homework. So we're going to try the question. When you're done the question, you show me the answer and it's right. You are done. Cool. If that means it's in five minutes, yay. If it means it's in yay. 15, yay. If it means it's in 45, sucks to be you. You're doing it at home because I'm. You're, you're gone. Okay. All right. So this is my question. Um. <clears throat> two. A large marker. X squared oh. minus 3x plus k equals 0. Determine the value of k when there are two real and equal roots. I'm even going in the order of the notes. And if you can only do these with your notes, can you do it on the test? No. Remember, we have to be able to do it without our notes by the time the test comes. If you need your notes right now, is that the end of the world? No, you're still learning, right? By the time the test comes, we cannot have notes. Girls, you are going to be part of my lower percent if you are not paying attention. I believe in you. 
Leave it yourself because you're not looking like you are. Okay. I thought you were talking about us females as a whole, and I was obsessed with it. I was so not. <laughs> okay. Two real and distinct. I was just talking to people who weren't, who weren't paying attention, but they're back on. They got this. I believe in them. Right, girls? Can you guys believe in yourselves? All right. And then non real. No real movies. BFFs, that's what we're going to be. I'm coming over there. Let's go.